Hi everyone, it's Miss Dissler here. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to add a Boolean to your world if you want to have a Boolean logic in there. So we have our world already done. We already did this in class and it was the scene changes world and you could add this to any one of your worlds. Now by default when the world starts we do do my first method. I'm going to create a new world method and I'm going to call it asking questions. Or ask question. I already added it, so I'm going to make a new one called asking questions. And in this method, we're going to have the ask user for a question. So first, we're going to have White Rabbit four. That's the one that's showing. We're going to have him say, "Other, would you like to see see my animation?" You could do this, would you like to play my game? And I'm gonna say, okay. And then I'm gonna create a new variable and you need to create this variable because it allows you to store information. So I'm gonna choose Boolean and I'm gonna call it answer Boolean, just like we did in the test, in the uh, quiz tutorial. So I'm gonna call it answer Boolean, Boolean, okay. So now I'm gonna have White Rabbit say, would you like to see an animation? And then I'm gonna drag my Boolean underneath and I'm gonna set the value to true. This is just a placeholder for where we're gonna bring in world function, ask user for a question. So we're gonna click on world function, ask user for a yes, no. This is a Boolean, so it's yes or no. And right now, if I play my world, I'm gonna change it to ask questions. And if I play it, it's gonna say, would you like to see my world? Yes, no. Whatever I choose, it's, nothing else is gonna happen because there's no code after that. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna bring down my answer Boolean. Sorry, I'm gonna make an if else. If true, if, answer boolean and here you just have to choose once you put your answer boolean in you're going to go to choose logic equals equals true or false so i'm going to make true the answer so if true it's going to play world my first method so i'm going to go to world methods and it's going to play my first method and if not the bunny is going to say, White Rabbit 4 is going to say, other, try watching a Disney movie then. And now I have Boolean logic right when my world starts. So if I play, would you like to see my animation? Yes or no? If I click yes, it's gonna take me to my animation. If I click no, the bunny's gonna say something else. So you could turn that into a whole nother thing. It could do my world, my first method if they say yes, and you could turn it into something else if it says no, but this is how you put the Boolean logic in there. You could also put a billboard here where it could give you directions. Would you like to see directions? Would you not like to see directions? Would you like a harder game or an easier game and change the games and the if else um, to make them harder to play, like the play catch game? If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. But also remember, when the world starts, you don't have to start with my first method. So everything that you had in my first method could still stay there and bring it in to the Boolean logic in your if else statement. So I hope this helps you with Alice and Boolean logic. Have a great day.